I'm going to guess I'd be three for three if I made a comment about the bear without even hearing what Kelly and Tony said. So just nice to be the smaller person sitting right here for once. So, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, with, with having this break, with playing Duke last Wednesday and I think up and down, you know, our roster and our basketball program, knowing that wasn't our best effort, um, we, we needed time to practice. And going into the Thanksgiving tournament, uh, when we got Suzanne Gilreath and, and Jasmine Hale back, uh, finally I think they're they're ahead of how many practices versus how many games they've played in. Um, and, and again, I, I think as as you're getting further in the semester and projects are due and papers, uh, it's it's been good because we've had practice days. We gave them Saturday off. I think they had a lot of work to get done, uh, and then really get you know uh, focused in on a Marshall team that's playing a lot better. Uh, they've won three of their last four. Uh, they come off a game where, you know, they had 16 threes on uh, on Saturday against Coppin State. So, uh, obviously, to to be back in the Cole Center, um, to to have four practices back under our belts, um, to work on things again. I, we've talked all year about rebounding and 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 how we can defend and and put ourselves in a best position to be successful, but also to get our transition game going. And uh, obviously it's a great test tomorrow night with Marshall, um, and that's what we've been focused in on, Um, just just getting ready, obviously, not having to travel, sleeping in our own beds, uh, and getting back to a good routine. Questions? Dennis? After the Duke game, you made some references that you would be rethinking lineups and all that how you utilize players, does any of that come into focus that people would notice a difference? Yeah, you know, I, I think when we've been at our best is because, especially in the preseason, we had that competitive, uh, you know, from a depth standpoint uh, of going against each other. And I think when you get in, and when you start playing into games and you use our practice squad to mimic what the other team's going to do, uh, because, again, you have a quicker turnaround, um, we got away from that a little bit, and so I think when we've had you know multiple practices, um, we've we've still had our practice players there, but but we've we've tried to put everybody on the floor, not not all 13 that that can play right now, but being able to go against each other, running our own things, um, I think that's really helped. And and again, we we have not put a starting lineup together uh, in any of the practices leading up because I, I want to see a lot of that. You know, I think when. When you know you're not playing at your best, you're hoping that that, that competitive level will raise our game uh, and raise what we're doing as a team. So um, we still have one more practice before we'll decide on that. So, um, But I, I like the fact that I feel like we, we've done a lot um, that, that has been head-to-head and I think brought out. I think it's helped Suzanne and, and Jazz get more comfortable. It gives more reps to everybody involved. Uh, as opposed to having a group play against the practice guys and then looking at different combinations with the the five you have on the floor. So um, I think we have a pretty good idea. Uh, Marshall's a difficult matchup uh, because at times they will play four perimeter players and even at times the the fifth post player, somebody who's pretty versatile. Um, On the other side of that, we need need to take advantage of that with with our post players and how we can capitalize on that. So um, I'm I'm hoping we can use a lot of different lineups tomorrow um, because, again, I I think we need to be able to play faster. We need to be able to get some easy baskets and get to the free throw line uh, and be in an attack mode transition-wise as well as, as, as being more aggressive defensively. Brian. Are you seeing progress being made offensively? I noticed the field goal percentage probably isn't where you'd like it to be. Are you, are you maybe a better team than you're showing right now as far as shot making? Yeah, I, I think we're a better three-point shooting team for sure. Uh, I think, uh, you know, Alex and Kelly and Suzanne, um, you know, with Jasmine Hale, we've talked about her. I think when you watch those players, and, and I'm pretty comfortable with – with with Suzanne and Kelly and Alex all you know toeing the line and on that catch when they're ready, um, I think it gets a little contagious at times. Um, and so we've talked to Jazz you know about what we've seen in practice, making sure that's the same uh, offensive attacking mentality in the game. She doesn't necessarily need to toe the three point line because she can get to the rim and get to the free throw line uh, and get into her pull up jumper. So. Um, and again, I think when, when we're starting to shoot it better from the free throw line, I think any time, Brian, you see the ball go in the basket, that helps give confidence across the board. 
Um, you know, the last two games, we haven't rebounded it the way that we've needed to. And I think when you offensive rebound, that's another way to gain confidence because usually you're putting somebody uh, on their toes and, and getting them in foul trouble. You're getting higher percentage shots. You're getting to the free throw line. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I think we've got to make sure that those threes aren't just first pass threes. Um, are they where we're dictating the pace? You know, I thought at the beginning of the Duke game when we went inside out and we started getting touches inside, that's how we got the lead. Uh, and then I thought we started settling for things on the perimeter. And, and I just think we, we have good shooters. They work on it every day. I think this break also allowed them to come in and get extra shots with our staff uh, to make sure that, they're, that you know, in practice that they're going to utilize those as well uh, so we can continue to be a better shooting team. Dennis. Uh, one of those shooters, uh, Kelly Carlos, had some good games early, and then the last four or five has struggled to score from – in or out, uh, defenses picking her out now after she's played some, or is she just in a little bit of an offensive slump? I, I think she hasn't gotten the, the, the shots in transition we would like, um, and and we've watched film. Uh, Kelly is a good shooter, and we constantly the staff, the team, your teammates need a reminder of that um because I, I think you know confidence is is an amazing thing in basketball and I, I think a little bit of the foul trouble she got in in the tournament in Nashville made her less aggressive and and some shots she turned down or even on the catch um it's not saying every time she catches it she needs to shoot it um but again she's somebody that's shooting a decent percentage from the free throw line I think she's a confident shooter um, you know, when she gets into, you know, the middle of the paint, whether it's against man or zone. Um, but like anything, I think she needs to see the ball go in a little bit. And, and again, we need to talk to her. I think it's even more important her teammates continue to talk to her about not turning shots down. Um, but but we, we watch some film, and, and I do think that, uh, you know, as the perimeter defender that she is and the things we're asking her to do, if she does get in some foul trouble, she can't allow that to take away what her offensive mentality is. Right. Has Alex Luring provided what you had hoped she would provide uh, on the floor? Yeah, you know, I, I think Alex is somebody that, um, you know, from an offensive standpoint, uh, as, as we've talked about, obviously we know the, the shooting prowess that she has. She gives us size on the perimeter, too. Um, again, I, she, she led us with four assists on Wednesday night in the Duke game. You know, I think defensively that there's, you know, I think all our freshmen are, are still trying to adjust to the pace of the game and the physicality of the game. And, um, you know, Alex is somebody that you have to count on using her length. Um, at times she's going to get matched up with perimeter players that, that are smaller than her. And, and being more of a master of angles and making people shoot over, um, you know, shoot over her length, I, I think, again, w that's one area she knows – um, that she can continue to be better at. Uh, I think the other area is being able to rebound the basketball. Uh, and I think we've seen that, the, the consistency that Marsha and Imani have had rebounding the basketball. When we've had our best rebounding days, it's when we've gotten that third and fourth and fifth rebounder. Sometimes that's a guard. Uh, obviously, Kelly's done that for us. Uh, Kendra's gotten in there. Abby Lashevsky off the bench in the post has to be able to rebound. And, and I think that's, you know, the great part about Alex is she has such an upbeat mentality. Um, I, I think she understands that it was not a given for her to have immediate eligibility. Uh, and I love that part of her. She's very, very coachable. Um, you don't really have to. There's a couple times where she, she's turned shots down, but usually I don't have to worry about that. Um, and I think she's anxious to continue to get better.